Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to how to decorate an apartment complex. This is the Corrales apartment complex that he so lovingly built and allowed me to decorate for him. And I'm here today to just do that. Last time we were here, I really, really appreciate all the comments, guys. I changed the toilet paper like y'all said. <laughs> There's the quartz toilet paper. It's a quartz pillar, I guess, and it's in a uh, an item frame with a button and it's designed to look more like toilet paper. So I hope you guys are happy. I still didn't add the final decorations because I want to do this I do want to mock it like I do want to make the exact same design in that bathroom so it looks like a mirror on both sides uh, but I still want to play around with this lighting design uh, as you can see here I was just kind of toying with the ceiling design and I also want to do maybe a couple more decorations before I duplicate it I wanted to work on a dining room today in the dining room I was thinking about placement and I thought about over here I thought about over there and it just doesn't leave enough room for the living room well this would leave enough room for the living room but then what would I put over there an office and that would be kind of big um, and the, the the dining room table if I put a chair here a two wide table and a chair it would block the entire hallway <laughs> to get to the bedroom so I don't want to do that so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let me grab some wood here let's go with spruce Let's go, actually, we'll do spruce all around. We'll do spruce stairs, spruce planks, and spruce slabs. And then, let's see here. We want it, how wide are we going to make We're going to make a big table so we can entertain guests. We'll have a big kitchen, too. So, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a pretty big table. Let's see. Maybe if we push it back one more here. Um... Let's see, I think, I think one more would probably be the magic place for it, okay? And we'll do stairs on these sides, like that. And we'll actually knock out this middle portion too, because we won't need it. Okay, so that's, that's a pretty big table, it'll be nice, it'll be nice to be able to decorate, okay. Let's do some cool stuff with, um, I think we're gonna go yellow, like a yellow theme. So let's look, yellow, what can we do? We could do yellow wool, not glass. Yellow carpet, yellow stained clay. I think we're gonna go with the yellow carpet instead because we can stack it, maybe do like a little centerpiece. Let's do glowstone so we can kind of hide some lighting in here even though I think I'm going to do a torch for a centerpiece. We might not need the glowstone, but it never hurts if we can hide it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Let's do... What do the, the gold wave pressure plates look like? Hmm. Kind of brassy. Um, man, <laughs> that's, just, that's really brassy. I don't know if that's going to work. Let's try it. I'll, I'll also grab some flower pots, I guess. Where are the flower pots? There they are. I'm always looking for brown. Okay, let's try a few things here. We can do glowstone right here and right here. And we can do yellow. Well, hmm. Actually, let's just do glowstone in every spot that we can. It doesn't really matter, but... And right here, we'll do yellow wool. And then we'll do it like the, the, it's like the tablecloth is draped over either side, right? And maybe a torch for the centerpiece. There we go, so we can have a nice little romantic setting. And let's do some placeholders. We could do placeholders on uh, like the two fourth and sixth spot right here. And on the left side, we'll put flower pots to act as cups. And this should work out really, really well. I really wish I was working on a one and a half high design. Uh, maybe I'll do it for another kitchen. You guys tell me how that would. I would need to recess the floor, which wouldn't be a problem. See, we have space to work in it. Um, so it wouldn't change the apartment above or below or whatever, but just something to think about um, Now let's see for chairs chairs are gonna be ver basically they're gonna be pretty limited actually uh, Let's just do chairs in front of the placeholders just like so and I don't think we're gonna need any more embellishments to that Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. The table says it all that should be good. I'm happy with that um, We could do in pieces instead of the wool, but I think six Seating for six is enough, and we can probably get away with uh, some pretty cool furniture. So I think if we went with like a, uh, a yellow-themed kitchen, that would look pretty cool. 
let's go with yellow stained clay and see how that looks for like um for countertop but i think i think that's gonna look kind of weird with um with with doors i don't know maybe the spruce doors would look okay let's place the doors out again i always forget what they look like in this resource pack iron i'm pretty sure we're not gonna use spruce maybe birch maybe jungle probably not if it has that window up top no dark oak and one of them's glass so let's see dark oak wood no that's not gonna work no that's not gonna work no especially not that that is not gonna work because there's a window at the top that might work even though it's a low res texture hmm i really wish that was a high res texture that i can use that would kind of match because I really love my spruce doors. Maybe we can just do spruce kitchen <laughs> instead of, maybe we could do a little yellow countertop or something like that. That sounds like a better idea to me. So let's see, we'll take the spruce that we were using. Oh, already put it away. Let's, uh, oh, how about, you know what? How about jungle? What does jungle look like? Is jungle, I think jungle's a pretty good texture too, huh? Hmm, yeah, but oh you know what sandstone we can have like that granite type deal would sandstone work well with spruce doors or regular doors if we put oh the regular doors or yeah they're a little bit um they're a little bit too dark for that kind of build we kind of got lucky the last one i already had a spruce door in my inventory let's look at sandstone uh let's see sandstone oh wow it is really um dang man they have red sandstone sandstone let's go with the let's look at both of these and see what we got we got this which that's a pretty that could make for a pretty cool counter i don't know about those man those are real that's some really really harsh textures Hmm, I think, I think we're just going to go with spruce wood, guys, for countertops. I don't want to get too intrusive. You guys can tell me about that maybe in the future and what you think about it. But we'll go spruce because I think it's going to match these doors pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's pretty darn close, so we can go with that. All right, so let's go with a, we'll, we'll leave room for the refrigerator. I guess we'll do the refrigerator. Let's just be, have a, a place marker. For the refrigerator actually let's use this block for a place marker so that'll be the refrigerator we can do the stove right here hmm and what about the kitchen sink i don't want to do another corner sink maybe we can do actually we can do the stove right no we can't do the stove right there we can do the stove right there the kitchen so where's the refrigerator gonna be hmm Maybe the kitchen sink will have to be here and the stove will be right next to it. But we would need to come out one more. I know you guys love when I change the floor layout, but this one will have one extra brace just to show that we have enough room to decorate properly, okay? So this will be the this will be the stove and then we'll do the refrigerator. Actually, we'll do the sink right here. Let's just lay this out kind of. So we'll have We'll start doing some cabinets um, and we'll separate that. So we'll put spruce doors here and spruce doors here. And we might just do a straight kitchen. And you know what? Those blocks in the back can easily be glowstone to kind of hide. Um, well, to kind of be some extra light back here, you know? Okay, so we got that. This would be the stove. Let's just pull some furnaces out just to mark this. I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to use for them, but... I'll probably use that for them. Okay, we can probably set them back here. Um, although it might be better if we did like an actual cooktop at this portion. Let's see. Yeah, it seems like it needs to be a little bit part of the wall. So let's do it right here and then we can have one more spruce segment right here. All right, that feels better. Now, Right here, we would probably need a separator in the cabinets, and we would need an end. And then, what do y'all think? Yellow wool? We can do like a yellow type, um, almost like a yellow type countertop 
for a bisque look. Even though there's a lot of colors that would probably look good, it kind of complements the table. The yellow is a little bit dingy, it looks like, but there's really no other colors that I'd want to do with the pressure plate unless we make it all gray again. And I'd like to try to incorporate some colors, so just bear with me, you guys. I know some of you might love it, some of you might hate it. <laughs> okay, so now that we got that going on, let's see. We can do pressure plates and weighted pressure plates for the silver, and this could not be like our little cooktop burner. And then we're going to do the same thing with the stairs here. And we'll make like, um, this will be, I don't know, let's use the sandstone for this. Sandstone will be like our, um, should we put it that far out maybe? This will be like the hood. Hmm. It almost seems like it would need to be, you know what? I could do the stuff, I can do the appliances in sandstone. I don't know how good of a refrigerator it's gonna make, but let's try it out. Let's just go risky here. Let's go with sandstone. We'll do it with these because that kind of looked like the furnace fronts, right? We'll do the stove like this and we'll put the burners. Where's those weighted pressure plates that I had? We'll do the burners like this. There we go. And now we'll put the sandstone stairs just like this. And that'll be, should we do it? Oh wait, what am I doing here? Should we do the vent hood? Like, how should we do that? We should probably leave that apart. And the vent hood should probably be like that. There we go. And then we'll do sandstone, regular old sandstone. And we will patch that in just like that. Okay, that's gonna be the vent hood. Now, in the back here, how does rail look again? We can do some rail for like a different type of grill setup. Yeah, that didn't look bad at all, actually. I don't know if stone pressure plates would look better right here. Let's look at pressure plates. Pressure plates, I'm thinking not. I wish we had sandstone pressure plates. Uh, <laughs> maybe? I don't know. I think that's too bright. Yeah, that's overkill. We're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna go that route. Let's use the original weighted pressure plates, so that'll work. Out. Okay, that's our stove. Uh, we're gonna need some cabinets now at the top. Let's do the spruce right here. We'll we'll seal that up, and uh, actually we're gonna do a slab here. Slab of spruce. Okay, we'll do a slab of spruce here, and we'll do a slab. We'll do slabs all around here, and that way we can kind of play with the cabinets kind of like I did last time. Um, there we go. We'll need a little bit of light in here. I know this isn't necessary, but what if we did a little corner light? Can we fit a lamp back there? Lamp? Yeah. Um, can we light it is the question. Redstone block. Can I fit it back there? Yes, I can. Perfect. Nice. Okay. So that is actually gonna show if I did that as a cabinet. Maybe we won't do that as a cabinet then. <laughs> so it can, yeah, because if we did that as a cabinet door, you could probably see through and that wouldn't look real good. Okay, no problem. So let's do a couple of doors here. We'll get those spruce doors again and um, we'll put them. Oh, we need to knock this out. How about this? We'll put them like at the same. It'll be off center from where the other cabinets are. So that'll look pretty good, I think. And because it's different from the roof color, I think it I think it works out well. We could do a center cabinet here or, oh, you know what we could do? Hmm. Let's try something here instead. We'll do the spruce doors right here, just like we did. And right here, we'll go for like a shelving unit. Let's see. Stairs. Oh, you know what? I got spruce stairs right here. Let's do spruce stairs. Maybe. Oh, wait. No, I want you. Yeah, I want you facing like this. And what's actually back there? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we can hide. <laughs> I don't think we can hide that. Um. We could do that and just do one cabinet. Well, that might not be too bad. That's like a little shelving cubby. I kind of like the look of that. 
Yeah, it's like a little shelving cubby. Okay. Yeah, that works. And there's a cabinet right here. I really wish I had a little bit more cabinet space. Um, what I could do is just make another shelving space right here instead. And kind of free it up. Heck, you know what? I could even extend this out by one more. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then we would have space for the cabinet. And it would look a little bit more full, if you will. Oh. Perfect. I like that. So in addition to this, I guess we need to add a sink and maybe a refrigerator. Now, the refrigerator can fit right here. And I'm not sure what material to use. If I add some material like this, that kind of looks weird. You know what I mean? Let's try a sandstone look and see how that looks. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be happy with that either. Yeah, it's way, way too textured for that. You know, I think the only materials that could be good in this would be maybe the clay. How about yellow stained clay? I'm trying to maintain the same color as we have for everything else here, but I'm not too sure if... Yeah, that's just... That might be kind of weird. I don't know. You guys can tell me how you think about that. Let's put some item frames item <laughs> and we can do two item frames like we did for the last refrigerator what about some yellow carpet on top just to give it a little outline or better yet we could do the wood kind of like the rest of the cabinets as well like that hmm we could do a storage cubby right there as well I believe if I did maybe the same stairs pattern as this, we can do a stair facing this way and then a stair facing the back and that would be a little storage cubby. That works out pretty well. How about gold ingots for the handles of this refrigerator? Maybe like this? Like that. I think that looks pretty good. I wish I had something to border the side with, but I don't think I can do anything that would really do it justice as a refrigerator. There's no seams on the texture, so it's a little bit hard, but I don't think there's anything that would really do good and match with the yellow. Sandstone, I'm used to building with Sortex, and sandstone is like very, very, very um, defined in here. There's note blocks, but those would look weird as well. And the smooth sandstone have that big old, um, that big line texture at the top. I don't know if I want to keep it that same color with the current theme that I have now. I'm thinking that maybe we should just keep it like that. You guys can let me know what you think. Um, we need to do a sink as well. So let's grab, maybe kill these and do a cauldron sink. I mean, the corner sinks work out better for this type of deal, but cauldrons work pretty good when you have a cabinet set up like this. Um, we also need to do some drawers, too. Maybe just buttons. Let's see. I'm, I'm thinking wooden buttons would probably be the better way to do. Item frames tend to look a little bit busy when you use them in other manners, kind of like this. And we can add some stone buttons. Let's get the stone buttons for the stove. There we go. So that's a little bit different. Although, hmm, maybe the wooden buttons would look better on these. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't have buttons at all on this. Maybe it should just be like that. <laughs> we can always add item frames to the back, I suppose. That's kind of like, uh, yeah, we can do that. And we can do maybe, what would, what would symbolize a good knob, you think? Are there any round objects that we can use we can use the bowls which let's see what the bowls would look like in this setup we can use the bowls like this and that would i don't know i don't like that too much let's look for something else that's round in the pearls are like green knobs i don't know if that would work out too well yeah those look like googly eyes we can't use that <laughs> oh man is there anything that i could possibly use I'm thinking that knobs might be a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit out of whack. Maybe we can do two gauges here, like this, um, and we can turn those. We, yeah, we could turn them like this, and actually, instead of there, we can put them here. 
So this would be the two gauges. You see, if I had these as drawers, they wouldn't really work. So yeah, that's the two knobs. It kind of looks like eyes anyway, but that's okay. It does justice to the build, I believe. Uh, you guys can let me know. So the color patterns, you can tell it's starting to break apart a little bit. I don't particularly like that. I'm used to uniform textures, but with the color palette that we're choosing, it's really, really hard to go with anything but white at this point, you know, because of the stairs. You know, when you have stairs that or these kind of colors, I mean, you have wood. And if it's not a wood texture, it has to be either a stone texture. So there's no soft textures for them. I don't know. It's it's just a little bit hard. Let's continue. And you guys can tell me what you think. Let's do water buckets and we'll go ahead and fill these two. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. And did we mess anything up? What did we mess up? Actually, not that bad. We didn't do too bad. Let's go ahead and take this carpet and just fix this up again. And what we'll do is fill these cauldrons with that. <laughs> All right. Lever to emulate faucet. There we go. We'll put a faucet on top of that. And then I don't know what we can do for any type of countertop like appliances I guess we can go with the brewing stand uh, we didn't do a brewing stand on the last kitchen so I think we can get away with a brewing stand let's do a brewing stand right here will it take up the whole thing no it won't so we'll have to do yellow wool in order for it to look right so we'll do yellow wool right here and we'll put the brewing stand down and we can also do yellow wool at the same place here. And then we can put something like, I don't know, a flower pot. We can do a flower pot and we can do, I don't know, let's, let's be freaky and do a cactus, shall we? We'll do a cactus. Oh, I just threw away the flower pot, didn't I? Flower pot, cool. Flower pot goes there, cactus goes inside, and there we go. So that's a nice little setup here. I wish I had something else to throw in, but honestly, I think it's going to be okay. I almost am, I'm, I'm almost tempted to kind of go in between with these. Let's see how this looks. That kind of closes it in. Eh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I think we're going to hold off on that and just keep it like that. And we'll do a small slab there and that'll be good yeah so for a kitchen it's not too bad it's not exactly what I would have planned but then again those same colors and textures if I would have used like quartz for instance would have really stood out but I've been trying to do a little bit with color so it's not so bland and whitewashed looked every time and give you guys an idea so you can still follow the concepts and see where I'm going with this and apply your own textures and your own resource packs that you like if it was Soratex I think I'd be a little bit more comfortable with this but for the most part I'm happy with this design um next time we come back guys we'll do maybe a few rugs some lighting We'll probably get a little office set up here unless you guys have some nifty ideas for this room and we'll um, we'll do a little living room set up in an entertainment center. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And as always, this is Uljin signing off and we'll see you next time. Bye.